Do you have any questions? Take your pick. This is uh, things as usual. It's been my life for the longest time. Back in the Navy, now at NASA. So it's that's how it is. <coughs> Yuri, you've done it four times. And what's what's calling you back? This is my job. This is what I do. I'm a cosmonaut, and as a cosmonaut. I have to uh, fly into space periodically. Uh, what is the space for you? Is it for dream or something else? I think it's uh, both. I think it's my work, like just like uh, Yuri mentioned, and it's also a dream for not just me, but for uh, the humankind. Um, and it's also a possibility to uh, extend and learn about ourselves, about the cosmos, and uh, to go to a new world. Sunny, tell me. Sunny, please tell us, what's the difference between taking the integrated sim uh, before you fly on the shuttle and uh, this, on the Soyuz? Um, uh, how to say, shuttle, uh, I was uh, on the mid-deck and so uh, my main goal was part of the construction of the space station in that flight. This flight, uh, the three of us working together in the Soyuz closely, it's a lot different being, like being on the flight deck. Um, and then the mission for the space station now has moved on to science. And so we're, we have a lot on our plate, like Yuri mentioned, but a big part of that is the science exploration. So I'm looking forward to that aspect of this mission. Which abnormal situations will the cosmonauts be faced with, or is that a secret? For now, it's a secret, and you'll be able to find out about these abnormal situations and what they are once they're posted on the website, GCTC website after lunch. And for right now, it will remain a secret. Well, every time, every uh, ticket will have a depress or a fire event, calm failures, across different subsystems and units, a life support element failure, and uh, something related to science. Without going into too much detail, how are the points assigned? It's quite a uh, complicated technique, actually, a multi-level technique. Every error has its own uh, uh, amount of points that it carries. And then uh, when we total up, when we tally up the uh, error points, then uh, we, we can see that it's a multi-parameter approach. And what is this assessing? It's intended to assess the readiness of the crew for space flight and also give the basis to the interagency commission to uh, disposition on the crew readiness. Also, um, it may also, if need be, um, become a deciding point between prime and backup crew, if that's something that we uh, get to. Экипаж готов.
The crew is ready for the integrated exam sim. On the Soyuz vehicle. Pull your ticket. Good luck, guys. Is everybody ready? We got a few questions for you guys. Uh, what's your assessment of the work that the crew did yesterday and today? What are your expectations? Well, we had a great sim yesterday. It was a solid effort. So I'm hoping that today will go the same. And ultimately, we're hoping to get a good grade today. Thank you. Next question. Uh, what are you looking forward the most uh, up there at the ISS? What is the experience you're looking for? Is that, that question for me? Then I, I think definitely uh, working with the crewmates that we have here and the ones that will be up there already. Um, they're already started into a, an aggressive uh, science program, and then we have a, a multiple vehicles that will be up there when, we'll be, when we're there, um, and possibly some a couple EVAs. So it's going to be a very busy increment, um, but it, of course there's got to be time to look at the Earth. So that's going to be one of the best things. Can you explain the Soyuz transit? Sure, it's all day event and it sort of uh, is a, a representation of all the activities that we will be doing in the Soyuz starting from the launch start uh, all the way through insertion, the orbit burns and the rendezvous to get to the space station and then after lunch we'll be doing an undocking and a landing. <laughs> そうですね。あの、ま、1 so uh, um, it's been it's going to be uh, less than a, a month until launch, and I'm looking forward to going uh, up into space with these two veteran astronauts, cosmonauts, uh, in about uh, less than a month. Yuri, what's the language of preference among your crew mates? Well, both Sunny and our Jackson colleagues speak very well when it comes to Russian. And uh, Russian is the prime language for Soyuz operations, and English is the main language on the station. So we can variate and we can switch between languages, and uh, these two are real proficient in Russian. So they're polyglots, well, basically. はい、あの、不安は特にないですね。あの、期待していuh, during the four and a half months, a very short duration, but uh, we have a lot to do. We have, uh, of course, science experiments and also uh, EVA and also uh, uh, waiting for a lot of uh, cargo ships. But uh, I'm looking forward to all those activities and uh, working together with the ground team.
Yuri, get up. Yuri, are you ready? We are ready. Good morning. Do we do it the same way we always do it? Yep. Any questions? No questions. Good. Thank you and good luck. <laughs> you, you didn't bring any gifts for us? Esteemed members of the uh, commission, so you team A06M crew is ready now, is ready for the integrated exam sim on a Soyuz vehicle. Good morning. Please take your pick. Today is the 19th. <coughs> Do you have any questions? Is everything pretty straightforward? Well, if you don't have any questions, then uh, do you remember where the mock-up is? <laughs> Go on then. Good luck. Uh, what's the main difference? You've uh, accustomed to NASA and uh, the shuttle. What's the main difference? What's your first reaction to what you've been training, your training so far? Uh, I've been lucky enough to train in many different places. I've been training in Russia since 1994. I had a chance to be part of a crew that built part of space, the space station Mir using the shuttle. So uh, I count myself extremely lucky to be a part of this crew and uh, to have a chance to fly in space again and, and to live and work on the International Space Station. It's, uh, it's all part of one long, wonderful continuum. Et en français, je répétais un peu. Moi, j'étais une partie d'une équipe qui a construit une partie de la Station Spatiale Mir il y a 20 années. Et j'ai suivi un coup de préparation ici au Centre des Cosmonauts depuis 1940. 94, Next question. Thomas, uh, what does medicine uh, do for space? What are the advantages? Well, it's a very exciting plan and a very uh, fascinating program, but health is uh, first. It comes first and it's really important, both on Earth and uh, on orbit. Bone density issues and the study thereof are really important, really fascinating areas to be involved in. Well. Uh, we wish all of the crew good luck, and how about we take a uh, picture, a commemorative picture.